So welcome. Let's take a look at a vehicle loading problem. This is an example of Goodman Shipping. And you'll be able to find, if you go onto the link just below the video here, click on the link and then click on Chapter 3 and then uh, Data Files and you'll see this is 3-7. Alright, so 3-7, this is the solution. This is from the example. Now, what I'll do is I'm just going to copy this and pop it onto here where everything blanked out. Okay, like so, so to figure out if I could do it on my own. And I've got the uh, table. The table comes from the uh, textbook. It's also in your PowerPoint file. So what I want to do is I want to see if I can replicate it based on what I've got here for constraints. So let's take a look. We've got item one and the value of item one and then the weight item one and also the, uh, the volume because again, we only have so much room in our truck. Right, so how much space does it take up? So some things have different volumes than others. But what I've got is the cubic feet per pound, and I need to reduce this to the pound in terms of the value. So we need to have value per pound because we can ship, one of the things they're saying in this, this question is you can ship things by the pound based on the items that we have. So we can ship these things by the pound, uh, therefore we need to have the value by the pound. So what we would have for item one is we have the total value of item one, which is 15,500, and divided by the weight, which is 5,000. All right, so 15,500 divided by uh, 5,000 pounds. So each, the value per pound is $3.10. All right, we can do the next one, and that's going to be uh, 14,400 divided by 4,500. Next one would be 10,350 divided by 3,000. And the next one for the fourth item is 14,525 divided by 3,500. All right, so I can just check over to the key, make sure I'm doing it right. Okay, so it looks like all the numbers add up. That's good. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, the terms of the constraints. All right, but before I forget, we want to try and maximize the value of the truck as it's leaving. And uh, the maximum value is going to be uh, the how much of item one times the uh, cost, the sort of value per pound, plus how much of item two, and then the value per pound of item two, plus how much of item three multiplied by the value per pound of item three. All right, so that would give us the sum product, so we should use that. All right, so we open the bracket, go across, and for this array, we first array we do a comma, and then going across here, we want this to be an absolute reference, as opposed to a relative reference. So we're just gonna highlight this. And then I'll just hit F4. All right, close off that bracket, like so. And then if I double click, you can see that those areas are highlighted. All right, so let's take a look. Now the first constraint in terms of the uh, vehicle itself, now in the question it's stated that the vehicle can only take 15,000 pounds. All right, so this will be the vehicle constraint. All right, we can call that the weight. All right, so the weight limit. And on the right-hand side here, it's uh, 15,000. 15, All right, so in terms of the load, it has to be less than or equal to 15,000. So again, we don't want to go over that maximum because that would start to damage the vehicle, extra wear and tear. And, and it would ha affect maneuverability and be dangerous for the driver. And for the weight limit, it's going to be uh, basically the ones going across. All right, so whatever they took for total weight above. All right, like so. So that would be, and again, we want to set up the sum product, right? So it would be uh, however much we're taking of item one multiplied by one plus however much we're taking of item two, multiplied by one plus, and that would basically add up all the weights, right? And we would use the sum product again. 
All right, we can kind of grab the formula from here. A few things we might have to alter though, and that is it's going to turn green. We don't want this to be green. We want all of our left-hand side constraints to be blue. So we can just touch on there. And it's not going to be in dollars, so we want to format this. All right, so I just right-click, format the cells. Right now it's down as currency, but let's just do that as a number. All right, I'm going to press OK. And that will fill that up. OK, so next we want to do the volume limit. So there's a volume limit as well. All right, we only have so much space in the back of our truck. All right, and this is all given right here. So this would be 0. Uh, Next one is point zero six four. Next one is right here, point one four four. Okay, so we got all the volume. So whatever we have for the number of uh, weight of item one, that gets multiplied by this number here, point zero two five, which will transform that into well, how much volume does this take up, right? So this is going to be how many pounds you take of the first one multiplied by the uh, the volume, which is the cubic feet per pound, and that will convert it into the amount of volume that it's going to take up. All right? So we multiply it by the per pound. And same as before, we only got so much space, so this number has to be less than or equal to. And this number is, is given, and it's 1,300. All right? So this is given in the problem. So again, don't have to worry in terms of where did I get that? Where's the calculation that's, that's given in the problem? Now, there are um, some limitations in terms of the items. Right? You can see that in terms of the items that we have, we only have so much of it. Right? Like, for example, item 1, we have 5,000. Item 2, we have 4,500. Item 3, we have 3,000. Item 4, we have 3,500, and so on. So in here, we can do the uh, item... And we could just leave that blank, actually. Okay, and that would be the limit. And this would all be in pounds. Okay, we just do it like so, because then we can copy that down. All right, and then we could just go in here, and we could just double tap and say this is item one. This is item two. Item six. Okay, so we got that in terms of limitation. Now for item one, would only be in this square here. So the amount of item one will be multiplied um, by here. This will give us the amount of uh, uh, amount that's available in terms of pounds, and then it would be compared to what we got here, which is five thousand. All right, so this would be five thousand. All right, and we only have five thousand. So whatever we're going to take with us in the truck is going to be less than or equal to. All right. So we can't take 6,000. We can't take 5,500. We can only take 5,000 or 4,000 or 4,800, something that's less than or equal to 5,000. All right. And we can also take that because it's um, in terms of how much we have. We can also do that as a less than or equal to for all those. All right. We can copy uh, this down. All right. So 4,500. 3,000. Okay, so next we got to make sure that each of the items have, for example, item 2, there's the one there. And item 3 is the item 3 limit. And then item 4 with the item 4 limit. Okay, item 5 limit. And then item 6 limit. Okay, so we should be ready to go into solver now and solve this. Okay, so we got $48,438.08. Okay, that looks like what we got for that as well. Now, if we do have to round to the nearest pound, and so again, we can take it by the pound, but if we do have to, we can just round to the, to the end. We would round down for both, for that, that one there. But take a look. You'll see that it looks like we are leaving with our max weight and our truck is full in terms of the uh, in terms of volume now notice that for the first one we um first item 
we have 5,000, but we only took 3,000 of it. Now, for the second item, we took everything. Right? The third item, we took everything. Notice here, we didn't take any of item four. Right, So we had uh, 3,500 in terms of weight, and we didn't take any. All right, And then we took all of item five and very little of item six. But in terms of the mystery here for why we didn't take any of item four, has to do with the volume. It's very bulky. So in that bulk, we could have taken other things. <laughs> it's more worthwhile for that. So again, if if they want us to take item four in any sort of upcoming uh, loads, they probably would need to give us even more money for the, uh, the load value because it is a very, very bulky item. It doesn't compare to the other ones. You'll see everything else is like 0.125 or 0 0.064 or 0 0.144. And then we have the 0 0.448, which makes a big, big difference. All right, so that's what I'm looking at in this question. And I'll, I'll show you the extension of that when they switch to, uh, instead of having one big truck, to having two smaller trucks.